play for my school, my teammates, you know, community, where I came from, my family. I have to respect and live up to everything they've done for me because without everybody that influenced my life, I wouldn't be where I am. Ever since I've been growing up, and you know, I've never wanted anything more than to be a professional baseball player. I guess his first grade teacher had asked him what he wanted to be when he grew up, that he wanted to be a major league baseball player. And he came home really mad because she had told him, you have to choose something realistic, that's not going to happen. I just expect a lot out of myself, you know, and I work so hard to be so good. I expect myself to be good because of the work I put in. He's, I mean, a lot of people know, but he's super competitive. I mean, well, he was always like competitive, really competitive. He always wants to be in first place. He always wants to, you know, be ahead of the pack. Baseball's taught me so much. You know, I think it's just taught me how to be tough and um, just being passionate about something you care about so much can you know, influence your life in such a way that you make sacrifices and you um, push through some tough times necessarily. That wouldn't happen if you didn't play the game or you know, even um, become, just becoming stronger as a person because the failure level in baseball is so high. Sports is in our family. Uh, this is a, a common thing in our family. Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving, bring your gloves because after eating, we go outside and we play catch and we play long toss. It was a given every holiday and it still happens to this day. Uh, it all started with my dad and I playing catch in the backyard. Um, I had a twin brother so we, he would play catch with both of us and we would just go back and forth, see which one, who would throw it harder. My dad was usually my coach when I was, when I was in Little League, my dad was the coach all the way up through Little League and um, so I was always not challenged more, but I was expected more of myself and also my brother because of my dad being the coaching. He did the, a lot of the pushing. Um, I kind of sat back and, I mean, it wasn't like, if he did something amazing, you know, I wasn't upset about it. You know, I was just, I was trying to do that. You know, what, maybe it was the way he made that throw or the way, anything like that. Uh, it's just, I tried to do that next time. They, there was a rivalry in the fact that they pushed each other, like if, like the big thing when they were 12 was home runs and um, one of them would get ahead and then the other one would, you know, catch up and then get ahead and then, so it was like a healthy, never, never a jealousy. I'm very proud. Um, such a good kid besides the athletics. Um, there's so many people that tell me what great sons you have. And just that alone, to me, is more important than any statistic. I'm very proud of what he's accomplished. I try to take each day to day, like I try not to push anything too far ahead. Like I want him to finish college, I want him, to, you know, each step, because that's kind of the kind of kid he is, you know, like one step at a time, don't get ahead of yourself. There's never been a time where I've been told that I need to perform well or I need to be good because my family was good, you know, I think it just comes down to what I wanted and my dad and parents and family have all respected that ever since I've been growing up and you know, I've never wanted anything more than to be a professional baseball player and I'm just focusing on, you know, taking one process, one chapter, step at a time and to hopefully get where I can get to.